Me encuentro en Universal Studios, en el Amphitheater, con nada menos acá que Jeff Downs, uno de los músicos más prolíferos de la historia de la música. Bueno, él está en Asia, Asia, y en Yes, ahora está tocando con las dos bandas, y nos va a contar un poquito qué está pasando. Bueno, básicamente vamos a preguntarle de nuevo disco, Jeff. Hello there, how are you doing? Good to see you. <laughs> I'm happy to be here with you. Yeah, man. yeah, yes. I've been following you for... At least 20 years okay. from the, all the Asia years because I was too young when you came up, you know. Okay. So tell me about the, the new album XXX. Um, how was the production of the album? Yeah, I think it was something that we, uh, we talked about doing. We, we wanted to do something a bit special for our um, 30th anniversary. So uh, we got in the studio at the beginning of this year and, um, and that was the result of it. I'd written some stuff with John towards the end of last year so we had you know we had a good sort of uh, good basis of uh, material to go on but um, uh, it, we did the album pretty quickly to be honest it was quite quite pain, painless oh yeah yeah how, how did you get uh, the um, how was the process of compose the, the, the songs do you get um, a story from yourself Yeah, we, we start with a very, very basic ideas, and I think that, um, you know, John usually has a handful of ideas, and Steve has some ideas, and uh, I've got some stuff, and we just kind of throw it all together and then see what comes up. So there's no, um, uh, it's not, John does a lot of the lyrics, probably most of the lyrics, I would say, so, um, uh, but we get the musical frames together first, and then juggle it around on a computer and see what's going to work, and then you get a... Uh, basically like doing a demo, you know, and then we take that in the studio and then we start to build it up from there. Do you record it here or in the UK? No, of course in the UK. We, um, our, our management has a, a studio there, which is about equal from where the four of us live, so um, so we, we recorded it there. And we, we had a producer who uh, called Mike Paxman, who was the same producer we had on the previous album. Yeah, Omega. And um, I think that, you know, it, it was very... Good, it's very good for us to have a producer. You know, I think when we started out, we had, um, you know, the late great Mike Stone, and he um, he was great to work with as well. So, I think it, it, it really has helped on this album, particularly having, um, you know, having a, 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 a another mind in there, if you like, a producer. How can you compare the new album from the old ones? There's any any difference, any anything new, or, or, or what, what is the difference of the well, sound? Yeah, I think that the um, the process has changed quite a lot. You know, we, the, the old days we all used to be in the same room together recording because that was the way you did it. You know, you had like um, the the backing tracks were take, taken live and you didn't really have the facility to do what we do now, which is, you know, a lot of editing between takes and that kind of thing. It wasn't so easy then. So uh, that side of it has changed a bit. So you don't really need to have all four members in the room at the same time. But um, So you didn't record it all together? Yeah, I mean, we don't we, we we discuss things, and we are in the studio control room together, largely, and one person's working. But we don't have that thing where you know everyone was like full tilt at the same time. And how was the reception of the album so far? It's been amazing. I mean, I think that that we're very pleasantly surprised with how it's been uh, been received. I think that um, we, you know. We didn't expect a great deal. I mean, you never know. You know, the band's been going 30 years. Um, it's not sort of in the front line of, um, you know, what necessarily record buyers are buying today. But um, it's certainly, as I say, has exceeded our expectations. And the record company, I think they're very well satisfied with the way it's sold and, and the way it's been received. We've had fantastic reviews. Yeah, well, mine is is good too. Okay, oh, it's it's not okay. online yet. <laughs> <laughs> so I saw the first time that I saw mm. XXX, I said, "Well, I'm gonna see some chicks naked here," but I didn't see any. Some girls, some pictures. Yeah, uh, because XXX is how to use yeah, for, yeah, you for the adult few, movies. <laughs> you want a few racy pics? No, you don't get that in there. Yeah, you've got to go to different websites for that kind of stuff. So, uh, or, or the top shelf in a magazine store. You know. You think oh, about sure. when when you put XXX. Okay, we did 30 in in in, in Roman um, numbers, right? Mm. Uh, have you thought that probably somebody will be confused about this? Um, yeah, maybe. I think that. Um, It's, you know, it, it is obviously, it is all about the Roman numerals, but, um, yeah, I mean, 
Um, it, it's something that we find sort of slightly amusing, I suppose. You know that that there is that Asia Triple X. You know, um, if you type that in on a on a Google search, you know you're going to get something pretty. You're not going to get that for a start. So. <laughs> how how uh, the market hit in in the band? I mean, you know, the market is going down and everybody's complaining. Uh, but probably people think that the the big bands like like Asia or Yes, uh, they are okay. They are doing great. There's any any have you noticed any difference? Well, I think that, that bands like us, you know, have always had the facility to be able to play live, and I think that's a very important part of it. So, um, you know, we've got a, a reasonable amount of dedicated fans who follow us, uh, whatever, and, and you, you know, the, I think it's nice for them to have new material to have, rather than just going out and playing the old hits, you know, we try and incorporate some of the new material in there, which not only keeps them interested but it keeps us fresh as well that we're not just playing the same old set year in year out you know so um that's why i think there's still a marketplace for for bands like asia bands like yes um you know a lot of those bands from the 70s and and, and 80s as was the case with asia uh have still got a good very good following live good but about the, um, the project with icon there's something coming up Or other um, project besides Icon? Well, I think that that was something that John and myself were doing before we really got Asia going a, a, again. And I think that um, it, it, in many ways it paved the way. I'm, I'm not saying it was very enjoyable stuff to do. And I think that it shows another s twist to mine and John's songwriting. So um, I think when we're writing specifically for Asia, we do really wear that cap and we try and make the songs appropriate for Asia. But um, I think the Icon stuff allowed us to be a little bit more... Um, f wide ranging we could use female vocals and things like that that we you know wouldn't be really appropriate with Asia so um, it's not something that we've given up on you know I think that you know if, if there's a bit of time in the, in the future we'll, we'll certainly maybe do another album what about solo Any, anything doing solo yeah I mean I, I do um, you know bits and pieces solo I, I did a, a, an album with a prog rock vocalist um, a couple of years ago Um, of course, Symphonica, um, I, I, Electronica rather, um, it was called. Uh, but um, yeah, I mean, I, I like to, I just keep working on music all the time. You know, it's a sort of, it's, it's a hobby as much as it's a profession. Have you ever thought to, since you, you made the song, you know, Video Killed Radio Star, since uh, Internet came up, have you thought to do something with Internet Killed Video Star? Yeah, I mean, so someone's already done that. You know, I think that, that um, you know, it, it, it often gets used as a kind of a buzzword of something replacing something else, some new kind of technology taken over. So, you know, in many ways, I think the title itself is very um, almost, you know, predicted what was going to happen, certainly um, not necessarily with radio, but but just how technology changes people's perception of things. And, you know, whether you can look at, yeah, the Internet has, has really changed people's perception of things. Well, you know, the way that, you know, you don't go into a record store now to buy a record, you know, you, you download it, you know. Or, you know, if you, if, you, if you want a copy of it, you order it from Amazon. You know, you don't go into a record shop and wait for the guy to come out with a big piece of vinyl, you know. Yeah. So, all yeah. those kind of things of... You know, that, that's what more Video Code or Radio Star, the sentiment of the song was about, was about how technology changes people's perception. There is any anything you will do with the new technology? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm very fascinated by technology, particularly being a keyboard player, you know, because that's one area of music that's been constantly developing. Um, you know, if you look at guitars, for instance, you know, the, the sort of the main guitarists from 1970 or, or 60s are probably still playing the same instrument they were playing then, you know. Whereas I think that, um, you know, you look at the way that keyboards have developed and, and the things you can do with keyboards and... You know, they're, they're, they're almost sort of orchestras within themselves. So it's, uh, it's a fascinating thing for me, and I, I'm constantly um, looking into that and, and trying to make, you know, in, you know, interesting sounds and that kind of thing. Okay, you are the one that carried Asia all these years. How is the relationship between the, the four original members and with the, the old members? Well, I think, I think the original members, 
you know, when we got back together again in 2006, I think that we all felt we hadn't really done enough back in those days, you know, back back in the first two years of the band. And, yeah, I mean, I, I carried the band through various changes. Um, obviously, John Payne was a vocalist throughout that period. Um, but But I think, you know, at the end of the day, a lot of people came back to the, the point that, you know, the reason they got into Asia was because of the four members that were there at the time. And and so, um, you know, when we did come back into it, I, I think that it felt very natural for us, you know, and we, we, we really did, um, we, we clicked again, you know, it was almost like it, it, it was back to 1982. Nice. Anyway, um... Anything else you wanna? <laughs> yeah, because yeah. people is watching right now. Well, no, right now. Watching. Okay. He's gonna watch this. Um, there isn't anything else you wanna say to other keyboardists or, or fans. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I just, um, you know, if I, I think that music will always be something that should be in the hands of musicians, and I think that, you know, when people ask me what, you know, should I c carry on doing this, I always say, yeah, you know stick to your beliefs because you know that's what music's about and that's what you know ultimately um that's the way where, where the success will be if 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 it's that good you know so i think that people should really stick at it any plans to go to south america or spain because this is for the whole well latin america well yeah i mean we we played there with both um well both yes and asia have played there in recent years i think we're talking about going to south america next year with yes at some point um And and probably with Asia too. So it's um, it's it's a, it's a, uh, an area that we um, you know we we have a lot of fun there. I know we've got a lot of fans there, very enthusiastic fans. So um, we're looking forward to going out there again. And it's a great show. I saw you guys uh, last year in the, the Grove. Oh right, okay. Oh, yeah. Man, yeah. Yeah, that was quite something. Yeah. I should bring some uh, diapers because it was awesome. Was it? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, you mind the seats. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Okay, thank you. Good to see you. Thanks. <laughs> 